These tourists are about to embark on an Arctic adventure with a difference. They'll be driving these electric snowmobiles, claimed to be the first of their kind in the world. Their development comes at a time when people are becoming more aware of the environment and greener hybrid and all-electric vehicles are becoming a more common sight on our streets. Especially in tourism, there is this uh, eco, eco point of view that uh, when you come to far come to far away to Lapland to fragile areas, you don't want to ruin the um, silence of the nature and the feeling. How is it to be in the deep deep down to forest, uh, feel the complete silence? There are challenges ahead, namely how to keep the batteries charged in the Arctic Circle's sub-zero temperatures, as well as the higher price compared to a regular gas-powered vehicle. However, those are not the biggest drawbacks. The biggest issue is the range at the moment. We can ride 40 kilometers with these easlets, so you really need to plan the route before before you go to the deep down to the forest because you don't you don't want to go 40 kilometers to the forest and then you don't have battery enough to get back home. Mark Baker, a tourist from the UK, is visiting Finnish Lapland with his family. He says riding the e-sleds is a great experience, but perhaps not one for thrill seekers looking for a turbocharged ride. It's a bit like going if you went to drive a Formula 1 racing car. I mean if you if you turned up and it was electric it would probably be um, a little bit disappointing, I suppose, but the performance is there, the power's there, um, the speed's there, so it's, you've only got to get your head around that um, electric scenario. I suppose it's the same with the electric cars when they first came out. The developers behind the electric snowmobile are confident that there will be great demand in the future, not least because of possible emissions limits. They really are slowly charging towards a more sustainable future.